picking up a box truck. First thing you want to do is actually get the keys. get it from the back because it's a rear wheel drive obviously that's one thing you want to do and the next thing you want to do picking up a box truck you can pick it up from the front but so you gotta do all under 40 50 next thing you want to do is put the truck in part right here though strap the steering wheel so the important thing you want to do right there take the seat belt if you ain't got the the steering wheel strap to hold it just take the seat belt get the seat belt wrap it in this you might have to do this and the seat belt might be tight like that and you might almost can't get it you do two things you can slide the seat up get that buckle closer to the steering wheel so you can strap it and then when you get it you can just push it back like that and the steering wheel is super tight just that simple and that's how you tow the box truck rear wheel drive car you can also pick it up from the front put it in neutral just like i did and then wheel it away, but you gotta do under 45. And you know, if, if the customer already got her bad ring and it's already making a tapping sound and you do it like that, customer might blame it on you and say the sound came from you. It was a sound like that when you before you told it. And it, that, but that's something uh, when you're doing with a self loader, cause you just wanna be extra precautious cause it's not a flatbed. So it's not like it's just rolling up on a flatbed and stacks and just sitting on a flatbed while you driving so the, somebody can't lie and say that this is actually being rolled all the way to the destination so they could say the rim wasn't tapping before you picked it up and then you picked it up and let it roll and all that and another advice i've been hearing somebody say they picking up cars from the from the back and pulling them which you can if it's a front wheel drive car you can do that but it's a high 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 likability chance that you're gonna burn out they trans and i also i seen it done also heard about it you can put the car in in neutral start it and let it run while you pull it if it's worst case scenario I'm talking like you got a self-loader and you far and it's only the two the two back tires blew out and you only can get it from the front those are like the possibilities but when you do things like that and then you you start it up and let it run while you're pulling it from the back end of it and it was a front wheel drive car you also have to check uh, see about how much gas is in the car because once that car shut off while you run it while you still driving and you don't know that it's off it's burning up the trans the whole time the car is not running and circulating that's another thing so just look out for that and then if you are towing a car like that which is the wrong way anyway you shouldn't be towing like that you should use dollies if, if the worst case scenario when you're using a self-loader like i am but a worst case scenario just always keep the car running make sure the car always running and then just just do under 40 and just just creep it to your destination that's like worst case scenario if you ain't had no dollies or if your dollies broke when you got to the car or just anything like that along those lines but that's the tutorial how to pick up a box truck or a real wheel drive car and a self loader if it was parked in if this was a wall right here and i couldn't get to it or any other thing like that you could just get it from the back instead of the front because i i drove it i picked it up from the front but it's easier when i got back to the destination picking it up from the back so those are just little tips that you should check out like when you're towing just 
Make sure the steering wheel is always tight. If you do, if you don't do nothing else when you pick the car with a self loader from the ring, make sure the steering wheel is tight. Because once you start driving, even if the steering wheel, once it turns, when you start turning, it's not going to be pretty good. So look out for that. And that's pretty much it. On the towing a rear wheel drive car, a box truck, just that simple. <laughs> Check the limit of your boom and check the the weight of the truck that does make a big difference i used to pick up these same trucks with a smaller tow truck i think it was a 450 or 350 my last tow truck i'm not sure it's a 650 right here but i have no problem picking up cars with this one but with my other truck i used to pick up cars like this and it was um carpet vans so they had all the jugs of water in the back, which was like two 50 gallon jugs in the back. And then they would have them filled up so they can do the steam cleaning around the house and everything. But if you don't know the limit of your truck, when you pick something up, you will hear it and it starts training. And once that starts happening, if, if it's not too heavy, you might, I doubt you bend the boom, break the boom. But what is gonna happen is the pressure picking it up is gonna bust these lines. And I have been through multiple lines, so that's just a heads up on like not how not to bust lines and just watch your limit when you picking up something. That's a big that's a big thing. If you pick up something that's too heavy, it's just gonna bust the line. Put wear on the tow truck, put wear on the boom, put wear on the boom arm and the neck right there. So see if you pick up stuff with too much stress time but i mean if i get the channel up and rolling i'll probably do a couple more a week a day i don't know i tell every day so it's not really hard to make a video but just leave a comment on what you want to see next what you think and we'll get back to you on the next tow i guess this is a four box truck i don't know the name of this one but we just call them box trucks over here. Oh yeah, see this is E250. So like right there, that'll show you to your limit. Like if you pick it up before, if the badge is higher than your badge, that means don't pick it up right there. See, I got an F650, no problem. But if that was a F650, I'd kind of be kind of hesitating on, or an E650 or whatever, I don't even think they go up that high. But if it was that, I'd be kind of hesitating on trying to pick it up. <laughs> 